The Sharpe is probably one of the most unusual looking breeds of all the breeds. The reason they bred them to have all those wrinkles was because when they got into dog fights, their internal organs were protected by the wrinkles. Definitely a great protection dog. It's the one place where wrinkles are cute, is on a Sharpe. They're just this ball of wrinkled skin. The wrinkles fade. Um, don't we all wish that wrinkles faded? As Sharpe's get older. One Sharpe, two Sharpe. That's right. The plural for Sharpe is Sharpe. Don't worry, everybody gets it wrong. These adorable, wrinkly puppies were not always as cuddly and approachable as they seem today. 2,000 years ago, they were downright macho. The Chinese Sha Pei was a dog bred by Chinese royalty to guard the high palace and protect the royal family. But the communist revolution turned everything upside down for the Sha Pei. The government put a tax on every Chinese dog. The Sha Pei was about to go extinct. Then, to the rescue, of all things, an American magazine. That's right, Life magazine published a front page photo of a Sha Pei in the late 70s, and overnight, the American public became smitten with these puppies, which sold for $3,000 a pup. Soon, those adorable puppies started popping up in ads, and they became the status dog. My father, for some reason, got it locked in his mind that he needed us to have a Sharpe. So lo and behold, we did go somewhere, and we saw a litter, and of course, they're incredibly cute puppies. What people loved was the wrinkly skin and what appeared to be fluffy fur. The name Sharpe literally means sand skin referring to the two distinctive qualities of its coat, rough and short. The sand skin is offensive to attackers. You see, it's all about the fighting. Another dog would grab the skin, um, but wouldn't be able to necessarily get at something that was more important. Another distinctive feature of the Sharpe is the blue-black tongue. This uniquely colored tongue was thought to ward off evil spirits when exposed while barking. According to legend, it made the dog look fierce. They're very territorial of their environment, so they do make a great guard dog. With moderate exercise, the Sharpe can be a good country, town, or city dog. Unfortunately, overbreeding has created some health concerns for the breed, including eye diseases, allergies, and skin irritations. The wrinkly folds in the Sharpe's skin sometimes trap bacteria and need extra cleaning. But with proper diet and regular cleaning, these dogs won't require excessive grooming. They're kind of a moderate grooming dog. They need regular bathing and they need attention paid to their skin, but regular ear cleaning and nail trimming is sufficient. It's never too early to start socializing this breed to be around young children and strangers. An experienced trainer is recommended. They are cute as puppies, but um, for training, they're a little hard to motivate. Sharpe are a loyal and devoted breed, but as a rule, do not do well with small children. This would be a dog that I would definitely have as a one man or one woman puppy. Overall, walk a dog every day and the Sharpe can live anywhere. Sharpe can have some health problems. These dogs are a snap to groom. Use an experienced trainer. Sharpe do best with adults and make loyal pets. If you're devoted to your Sharpe, your Sharpe will be devoted to you. <laughs>